Fine. Let's create the stylish double exposure effect in PowerPoint. Here is one example, another example, and another example. Now, the best part about this double exposure effect is you can see that a part of the picture is absolutely clear. Only the other portion has the overlap of an image. The same is the case with this. Here you can see the person's face very clearly. Only the portion here has the double exposure. The same is the case with this picture as well. So how do we create this really cool and professional looking double exposure effect? Let me show you how. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here we are on a new slide in a new presentation. The first step is to insert the picture. Let us go to insert pictures and go to stock images. You can of course take your picture from any source you want. I'm going to choose cut out people. Of course, you can take any image for this effect, but it would be nicer if the person is looking sideways like this. So let me select this person and say insert. Now I'm going to zoom into this image. So let us zoom out slightly and then let us increase the size of this picture. Now that is a good enough size. I'm going to keep this to one side like this. And then I'm going to crop out the rest of the image. So let us zoom out even more and then go to the crop tool and let us crop it out. So only this portion remains. Let me click outside, go to fit slide to current window. Now we have got our image in place. The next step is to have the image that needs to overlap this one. So let us go to insert pictures, stock images, and I'm going to search for a building. So this is my search and let us go down and see if there is any image that we like i like this image go to insert and we're going to have this portion overlap a part of this image now let us right click cut this and go to a new slide and paste it so we can park it somewhere now let us create a duplicate of this first slide i'm going to draw a rough shape that houses a part of this image that we have just inserted how do we draw the rough shape? Fairly simple. Go to Auto Shapes Gallery, From Lines, pick up this tool here called Freeform Scribble. I'm going to draw some rough shape so I don't really cover the entire image. I'm just covering only a portion of this image and I'm also going outside like this. So we have the shape approximately covering a part of this actual image. Then let us right click and duplicate the slide. First, let us select this picture, hold the shift button down and select this rough shape and then go to merge shapes, which is in the shape format. And you can find that here, merge shapes and say shape intersect. Now we have a part of the photo available with us. Then let us go back to the previous slide again. We're going to fill this shape with this picture. So let us select this, copy, go back here, paste it right on top of it and then we need to ensure that this building is right in the middle of this rough shape that we created. And to ensure that the placement is right, let us select the photo, go to picture format, go to transparency and add a slight bit of transparency. And then let us move this. Now you can see that this is where the image is going to be. And let us even increase the size of the image in the background. So we are very clear that this building is right here in the middle of this rough shape. Perfect. Now we don't need that transparency anymore. So go to picture format transparency and say 0% transparency. Then let us zoom out slightly. Select this picture first, hold the shift button down and select this rough shape that we drew. Then go to merge shapes and say shape intersect. Now you can see we have this image and we have this building. At this point, this image is not merging nicely with the image in the background. For that, let us right click, go to format picture, go to effects option, go to soft edges, and then add a bit of soft edge. You can either use the slider and you can decide how much of this effect you want, or you can always go here and you can add the relevant amount by going to say 25 points, or you can have 15 points, it's completely up to you. Now, this looks pretty nice. You can see that there is this very nice merging of this image with the picture in the background. But still, the job is not done. 
Let me go to the previous slide where we cut a portion of this image here. Let us right click, cut this and bring this back and paste it right on top of the previous one. Then go to picture format, transparency and add transparency. So you can decide the level of transparency you want. Maybe something like this or this, it's completely up to you. Now when a part of this image is shown, now the effect looks far more authentic. Now I see that there is a bit of the soft edge somewhere in the bottom as well. We don't really require that. So let us select everything by pressing Ctrl A, press Ctrl X to cut it, right click and then paste it back as a picture. Now you can see that this picture has all the effects baked into it. Now I'm going to go to picture format, crop and then crop the portion down here. And now let us go here and increase the size so it aligns with the bottom line. Now we have this beautiful effect of the photo and the image in the background. And to ensure that there is harmony between the slight background color and this image, let me pick up a color from inside this picture. So let me right click, go to format background and go to color, pick up the eyedropper tool and pick some color from inside the photo. Let us say this color. Now you can see that the whole slide looks more professional. Let me go to fit slide to current window, go to slideshow and this is the effect that you get. Now of course you can see that the resolution of this original image was not so great and that is because we took a small picture, enlarged it and then cropped it. If you use images with high resolution like this one, you can see that the effect looks even more beautiful and sharp. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.